For thousands of years, Asians have conquered the world. From the first emperor of China to Genghis Khan, and we continue to multiply. We continue to rule the world. No, not like that. We are taking over the world through your television. A Nation is a TV show that exposes all the Asian artists in the entertainment industry. From movies, music, television, fashion, and sports. People in front of the camera and behind the scenes. These great talents who inspire, influence, and make a difference in the American entertainment industry. And we are here to tell their story. We are here to expose them. Hi, I'm Kimmy Lee. Welcome to A Nation, where you get the first look at some of the hottest Asian artists in America. We are here at the Oscar Press Conference red carpet event. Well, there's a lot of things going on with all the press. It was so packed earlier, and it's going to get busier later on today. And we have the special pass to the Oscar, and we're inviting you along with us. So let's check out who's wearing what at the red carpet, and of course the winner. So let's check it out. I am here with my man, who I've been watching since I was little on Entertainment Tonight, Leonard Maltz. Thank you so much for joining A Nation. It is a great pleasure. Now, I know you've been at the Oscars so many times. How is this different from any other time so far? Well, I think it's a very international Oscar this year, and that's great. I think it's wonderful. It's not new this year, but it's a trend that's been growing in the past decade or so that the Oscar voters, who are very open-minded, are saying, we're not separating Hollywood movies and foreign movies anymore. We still have a foreign language category, but we're now saying we're, we're interested in the best movies from anywhere in the world. The world is opened up in such a way now that, yeah, it should be. It's about, I mean, the Academy Awards is, is international. It shouldn't be about America. It should be actually about the world the world and what cinema has to offer. What uh, brings you to the Oscar? Well, I'm here with a Danish film for, nominated for Best Foreign Film called After the Wedding, uh, directed by Suzanne Beer. So we're all crossing our fingers. Is this your first time at the Oscar? Yeah, it is. Yeah. How is it so far for you? Well, it's fun. It's great. I mean, uh, everybody's just proud of being here. So uh, we don't look at it as a competition. We're just really proud of being part of it. Thank you for joining us today. Now, how are you feeling so far? Yeah, it feels good. It's special being here in the top five. What is the story about? It's a story about uh, the widow system in India in the 1930s. And what character do you play? I play a, a man who falls in love with a widow in an age where marrying a widow was considered a sin. What is said in 1938, uh, but you know, and though it's very specific that it's about the widows in Varanasi in 1938, thematically it's universal because every country and every every nationality has a group that it marginalizes. I'm so proud of Jennifer Hudson and I'm so proud of Eddie Murphy and, and proud to be in a movie with these great actors. Now, what are you mostly excited about the Oscar night? Um, uh, Forrest Whitaker winning for his portrayal of Lydia Ming. What about Best Picture? Uh, Departed. And why is that? Why is it because it was it was um, a product of monotonous, boring films that have been um, proliferating the screens of Hollywood. It puts you back to what, what it was. It was it was that epic movie where you go to see a movie and you leave like, wow, that was really good. It wasn't just about putting together a bunch of famous people with a lame script. It was like it was like the French Connection. Who thinks going to win Best Picture? I, I have no idea, but I. Uh, I have an idea that it's between Martin Scorsese picture. I don't know who won anything yet, so if you guys know, let me know after the interview. I don't know if Departed, who won what? Who won best picture, do we know? And the Oscar goes to Martin Scorsese. <laughs> Marty won, and he, he teared up, and the whole row just descended on him, and you knew this was 
coming. I was really excited that Martin Scorsese finally won an award because I'm a huge fan of his and I've been a fan for years and it was cool to see a fellow shorty and a fellow Italian win an award. <laughs> Were you aware that part of it was a remake of a Hong Kong film? Uh, uh, I did hear that, but uh, but but I'm glad. But I forgot about that until you just reminded me. You know, it was a remake of a Hong Kong film. I did not know that. I did not know that, but that's some information that I definitely needed to know. I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, well now you know you... something. Asia has it going on over there because some about Americans keep remaking all the Asian horror <laughs> flicks, the gangster flicks, or something like that. Asia's trying to tell us something. Yes, they're trying to tell us that Asian people... To get people? real. Yes. No, Asian people got it going on, and Americans need to get real. <laughs> Stop fronting and perpetrating a fraud. Well, you're real, definitely. Um, now, what brings you here tonight? tonight? I got to hang out with Leonardo at the bar, and I got to hang out with Barat, his mother and father, and I got to hang out with uh, Penelope Cruz and J-Lo and Anthony. It was so fun. I'm a groupie at heart. Well, I'm a party animal at heart. When we come back, you'll hear my personal interview with Ray J after his sex tape scandal with ex-girlfriend Kim Kardashian and the press surrounding the new love of his life, Whitney Houston. That's coming up next. Yo, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Ray J, and you're watching A Nation TV. Yo, Kuvi, Cassandra Hepburn, and you're watching A Nation Television. Took my number. Hi, welcome back to A Nation. Today we are here at the Children Uniting Nation Oscar viewing party with some of the biggest celebrities gonna be here, like DMX, Blue Contrell, Little Kim, JC from NSYNC, and of course some of the biggest celebrities are dressed in beautiful, beautiful gown, and the men are very handsome as well. But the winners of tonight is the children. Thank you, Daphna, for bringing this charity every year, and we are privileged to be here because a Nation also is in support of underprivileged children. I'm here with Daphna, who runs the Children Uniting Nation. Thank you so much for joining us. And could you explain to us more about this uh, foundation? Children Uniting Nations was formed because the most voiceless children in our community are our foster kids. And it was so important to come together and allow the community to embrace them and allow Hollywood and stars to give them a voice. Now, what brings you out here today? Well, Daphna Zyman is a friend, and, and this charity that, that she has is so worthwhile and so wonderful, Children Uniting Nations, that uh, whenever she asks me to come out for it, I do. Oh, that's great. Now, it is Oscar night. What are you mostly excited about the Oscar? The clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you wearing? Su Wong. Sue Wong, an Asian designer, yeah. very, you know, yeah. Wong, yeah. Well, so today is Oscar night. Who do you think is going to be the winners of uh, the best picture? Oh, oh wow. see, the best picture, that's going. That's kind of rough now. That's, that's rough. Life. That's that's rough. I thought you were going to give me an easy one. Okay, what's the easy one for you? Um, Forrest Whitaker? Yeah. Forrest Whitaker is very, very easy. I was at the LA Confidential thing uh, okay. for him and was doing the microphone and MCing for that. and. Well, I'm when you excited. see him, tell him I say hi. I love him. He was in Green Dragon, one of yeah. the Asian films as well. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. I'm going to get real loud and kind of ignorant. <laughs> kind of ignorant when Forrest wins. I mean, how did you do it? I mean, you start hey, from... I don't know. You know what? You know what? You know, it's funny. Damon Dash said, you know, you're like the ultimate hustler. And it is. But I actually have some talent to, uh, to back it up. So tonight I'll be playing violin with Blue Cantrell. Okay, what song are you singing? I'm singing Here I Go Again with White by White Snake. It's going to be fun. That's great. Now, uh, what, what do you think of the Oscar? I mean, I'm uh, really tonight. excited. I think it's a great year. You know, Eddie Murphy, Jennifer Hudson, um, you know, it's going to be really, really, really great. I'm really excited. I'm really excited to see who's going to win. I kind of think I know who's going to win. Jennifer Hudson. I have to just take this moment in. I cannot believe this. Well, congratulations to Jennifer. Uh, Another American Idol alum just won tonight. It, it was amazing to watch her receive the award and everything that she's been uh, having success with uh, so far this year. Any future albums with the Fiji? Not right now, but one day. Can you explain to us what brings you here today? I'm here to do a little performance with a friend of mine, Celeste French. So, and plus the organization I support. So, I'm just here to like support the cause and just enjoy the whole pop um, post Oscar party, you know. And who do you think is going to win for the best picture? Best picture, I don't know, but best actor, Forrest Whitaker, definitely. Okay, um, best um, supporting actress, Jennifer Hudson. And I think um, best 
supporting actor might go to maybe Mark Wahlberg. Two out of three is not bad. But who did win the best supporting actor? Alan Arkin in Little Miss Sunshine. I was thrilled that Alan Arkin got to win. You know, I've, um, his son Adam and I are friends. And so it was great to, to see a well-deserved uh, kudo for a man who's done great work. Working on a new movie? It's going to be a reality movie. Blessed with the curse. You know, and um, it's just going to show how, how as much of a blessing this whole celebrity thing is, as much as a blessing this whole fame thing is, it's a curse as well. You think you'll be working with uh, 50 Cent and Eminem? But... I don't know. I mean, if the opportunity arises and, the, you know, the script, you know, suits everyone involved, yeah, there's, there's no one, I'm not going to say that I won't work with someone, except for, well, you know. But um, if the opportunity comes, present yourself, yeah, we'll, we'll do something. Why do I want to be involved with this tonight? He's a Trish. Foster child. He like, grew oh, up in no, group I, homes. I was in group homes, yeah. I was in group homes, you know, for all. Can I ask you who you are? His manager, Trish I mean, Alum. Six, uh, six, seven years of my life. You know, so I know, what, I know what it's like to be left, you know, in someone else's care and, you know, just have to deal with it, you know? So I, I feel for these kids. And I just want to let them know that it, just because you are a foster child, it doesn't mean that you're a problem. It doesn't mean that you're not. As, as, as talented or as special or as good as someone else. This means you're different. And you know what, that might be a good thing. In my case, it was definitely a good thing. I was able to look into myself and see that, you know what, I'm just misunderstood. Another person that's misunderstood is Ray J. With all the press surrounding him and Whitney Houston, I had to ask, how did he handle all the press? We're trying to maintain, you know, we're just trying to take it one day at a time and just stay focused on the music and stay focused on the acting and stuff, because that's what I'm about. You know, all of this other stuff is new to me. My main focus is just my talent, my music, and, and you know, my acting. But look out for the new TKO album that's coming out. And then, you know, of course, we running a new label, Knockout Entertainment. Everything we putting out is all independent. So I support everybody out there that's putting it out yourself and supporting yourself and spending your own money and believing in your art. That's what we're doing right now, so y'all keep it up. Can you give us a little taste of your album? Oh, the new stuff? Um, Give us a little sample. Cause in the club we gon' party. Roll on dubs to the party. Hey. Oh, that was great. Thank right, you. God Enjoy bless you. Yeah, she doing big yes. things on the red yes. carpet, baby. Yes. Oh, <laughs> A Nation and I'm here with Tiffany. Oh my god, I was, I still am a big fan of yours. I think you're alone. Do you think you're alone? I'm not alone anymore, you know? I, things are great for me. <laughs> I have a 14 year old son and a husband and lots of dogs. You did the modeling for um, right. a very famous magazine. Well, how has that changed for you? Um, you know, it was an amazing experience, so it was a lot of fun. Um, you know, I, I think that it was something that I, you know, I'm very proud that I did, um, you know, but I can't always stay that skinny. I like to eat. <laughs> well, this, this is one of the biggest highlight of my night. Thank you so much for joining A Nation. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you so much. Thank you. And I hope you have enjoyed a red carpet event of the Oscar host party at the Children Uniting Nation. Oh, I cannot believe DMX. DMC was on the same red carpet, and that's why I'm sitting here, because I worship this carpet now. Right after this, I am going to go party. I hope you enjoy our interview with some of the biggest star, and uh, hope you enjoy A-Nation, and join us next time. Good night. <laughs>